with a new video. Um, oh, I'm going to jump back into my uh, Mission Creep series. We are still in the purple crate and we're hitting the bees. Uh, I got one, two, three, four, five, six bees. Uh, very diverse bunch of shit. Again, I'm saying shit. Very diverse bunch of records. So, uh, yeah, let's hop into it. Um, first one we got here, uh, I think my friend, my buddy Lane gave me this or traded me this or something. Um, this is Barbaro. Uh, I don't know if it actually has a title. It's, uh, the track's feeding and two boozlers and half a pound stone. Uh, came out of Hydrahead Records in 2001. Um, honestly, I don't know jack shit about this band, really. Um. I think, I'm pretty sure they're from Boston. Uh, noise rock-ish, hardcore tendencies. Um, they only ran for a couple a couple years, I think. I, I'm pretty sure they're not around anymore. They only had a handful of releases out. Um, uh, yeah, I, like I said, I don't really know a lot about them. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, uh, there's no center label. You have to go by the, the fucking etching to establish what sides are on um i don't listen to it that often but uh it's cool to have around um just want to see what hydrohead number it is number 55 on hydrohead records um i also don't have a lot of hydrohead releases but uh yeah simple packaging uh just fold open fold over cover um I don't listen to that often, but every now and then I'll get a craving for it. And, uh, yeah. Cool stuff. Noise rock. If anybody's going to do it, Barbara did it well. Uh, but yeah, that's the first thing I got here. Cool stuff. Uh, moving on to something I listen to quite a bit. Um, drop this shit. This is the Black Hole of Calcutta with, uh, their 7 inch for Defeat and Fucking Mess. Um, first off, fucking love this artwork. It's on heavy fucking, like, actual cardboard. And it's fucking great. This is the front cover. The back is fucking awesome, too. Oh, uh, fucking mess is my jam. Uh, the inside is actually really fucking cool, too. Not sure what the scrawlings are, but they're, uh, illegible. So, honestly, it's just kind of cool to look at. Yeah, actually... It's also not in English. And that's not how it is. This is the credits right here in the middle. If you look really hard. Um, but yeah, I fucking love Black Hole of Calcutta. Uh, they're from Chico, California. Uh, blackened, crusty, sludge, power violence. They do a little bit of it all and they do it fucking well. Um, they've done mostly splits over the years. Uh, two self-titled EPs or LPs. Uh, I have one, and uh, I think I showed it off in a video a while back. Um, but it's uh, it's fantastic. A fucking fantastic band. So the logo on that side, and print on that side. Record's just on black, so no reason really, really show you that. But yeah, Black Hole of Calcutta are fantastic. Um, criminally underrated band, I think, and I'm not, not nearly enough people talk about them. But um, it's definitely a good place to start if you are looking, and this is fucking, last I checked, it's relatively cheap, most of their <coughs> discography is. But uh, yeah, Black Hole of Calcutta, Defeat and Fucking Mess, fucking heavy shit. Dog's barking again, awesome. Um, moving on again, uh, this is, got to be one of my earliest records in my collection um so thrive and decay is a split seven inch between uh chicago's 
uh, Black September and uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana's Thou. Beautiful play out here. Uh, lyrics for both tracks. One track from each band. Uh, the artwork is gorgeous on this also. Uh, this is back artwork. Uh, really cool stuff. Uh, Black September are a uh, kind of black and doom, black and death metal band. And uh, everybody knows Thou, sludgy, droney, doomy. I fucking love Thou. Um, this is Black September's only split, I believe. And it was uh, Thou's first split. Uh, this came out in 2008. And Thou have done a shit ton of splits ever since. Uh, this is a repress. Uh, translucent for red. And the center labels are actually really fucking cool. Uh, that is... That's the Black September side, and the axe is the Thou side. Really fucking cool. Uh, I would say this came out a poster of some sort. I don't really remember. Uh, if it did, I don't have it anymore, but I'm pretty sure the repress came with a poster. But like I said, I've had this since I started my collection way back in the day. Um, I don't remember where I got this. Some distro online. But, uh, yeah, really fucking dope. Uh, I, Thou are far and away the better band on this, but I think that's mainly because I was never crazy about Black September. Um, yeah, really cool stuff. Again, I fucking love that artwork. Um, the hammer that I once brought down now hovers over me. The text at the bottom of that. Really cool. But, uh, yeah, good split. Mm. What's playing in the background? I didn't talk about. Um, this is Throne of Iron, a uh, new traditional um, heavy metal band. Um, they are they. It's a one-man project, and it's a uh, Tucker from Thorax uh, trying his hand at traditional heavy metal, and it's really fucking good. Uh, Travis, I think this would be right up your fucking alley. And uh, I think Tucker said that CDs are coming. So, uh, I'll definitely shoot you a link because I think this will be Rob your alley and there will be a link to them in the description box. But now we're going to move on to something really cool uh, that uh, was given to me as a gift. Um, this is Bones Brigade. Uh, it's a repress of their uh, self-titled EP. Um, and Hook's 35th birthday edition. Um, Hook, as it, Jason Hook from uh, the YouTube channel uh, Get Into It. Uh, fantastic fucking YouTuber. If you're not subscribed to his channel, you're doing it fucking wrong. Uh, awesome dude. His knowledge of hardcore and punk is fucking far and above the way above mine. Um, I, I want to say he was a roadie for Bones Brigade. And uh, he had these uh, seven inches, the represses of their the original uh Read issues of the original 7 inch sitting around for like 14 years and at his 35th birthday he uh, gave him away these special covers um fucking great track sleepwalking through the 80s uh push button warfare rat pack never meant much fucking awesome love the cover uh both brigade are fucking legends of the boston hardcore scene and he sent them all with these little notes Saying uh, this person was pressed to party favors and all that. Uh, down at the bottom says, Pay no more than zero point zero zero dollars for this. They were all given away. Really fucking cool. I think he sent me two and I, I did give one away. But uh, yeah, this thing bangs fucking hard. Um, I think most of the, us here at the, uh, the hardcore YouTube channels uh, got one of these. I think Travis did. No, Pat did. Uh, good shit. Really cool shit. Uh, Thank you again, Jason, for uh, the sweet hookup. All right, moving on. This is, I love when I buy seven inches on a whim just because, hey, it's cool art, or hey, the, the, the four fans of sound like something up my alley. Um, that's how I got into this. This is Burnout. Uh, two piece, Arizona hardcore. Uh, really fucking dope. Uh, so it's a 2016 self-titled 7-inch. Great artwork there. Over the back with a cracked egg. Because, you know, homie's going to crack his fucking egg. Uh, cool shit. Uh, five, yeah, five tracks. 
Nice. Lyrics and all that good shit over here. Really fucking cool band. Uh, like I said, based out of Arizona. Uh, bought it from uh, To Live a Lie just to fulfill an order. Uh, I was buying a bunch of seven inches and I threw this in my uh, basket just for the hell of it. Oh, it's beautiful fucking red vinyl. Um, fucking love red vinyl. Um, really fucking great. Um, crusty, power violence. Really, really fucking cool. I want to say this is limited to 100. Um, not 100% sure. Uh, I could have read that wrong or I could be mistaking it. Uh, I don't know. Regardless, it's really fucking cool. The band's burn out. And uh, you should all be listening to them. Because To Live A Lie Records doesn't put out bullshit. Fight me. Alright, moving on to the last one in this edition of The Mission Creep. And this is actually one, a favorite and newer acquisition. Acquisition? Acquisition of mine. Not acquisition. That's not a word. Um, this is Burning Love with uh, Down So Long and Medicine Man. Uh, first off, the artwork is fucking great. Love that fucking artwork. Here's the back. Wonder what the song titles are. And the band and credits are way the fuck up here in the tiny writing. Crazy shit. The RPM to play it at is larger than the band name. Crazy shit. Um, really heavy jacket. I uh, love it. On Deathwish Records. Deathwish Inc. Um, Burning Love. Uh, Toronto Hardcore. A very groovy, very hard or rock and roll oriented very riff based and uh it's so fucking good also Madison Man is not a Pantera cover thankfully because but uh yeah limited to probably one of the most random numbers uh in my collection 769 copies I'm not sure why they're so random or if it added up with the other variants I don't fucking know but uh this variant is It's clear with gray, but you really have to get, that doesn't help at all. You really have to get in the light to see. Uh, it kind of just looks like, I can kind of see it. Like a marbled off white. Really cool though. Uh, those are cool. But uh, yeah, this band is fucking fantastic. And uh, one reason that this band is so dope is that uh, their singer is Chris Colahan. Uh, fucking legend, known for Cursed. Uh, he is the fucking man. And he crushes hard. Awesome lyric sheet. Lyric sheet song. Let's see if I can get us back in here, because I always have fucking problems out of this. Yeah, fuck. I'll fucking put it back in later. Um, yeah. Really cool shit. Uh, Chris Colohan is the fucking dude. Uh, everything he's done is fucking top notch. And it rules. But, uh, yeah. That's really all I have for this video. Um, we'll be moving on to the C's next. Still in the purple crate. I think purple goes through J. So that's cool. And, um, uh, playing in the background again. That was Throne of Iron. Really cool shit. Uh, Tucker from Thorax. Can't wait to get those CDs because uh, this shit's cool. It's only 15 minutes. Definitely worthy of your time if you're into power metal and traditional heavy metal shit. Uh, link will be below, as well as a link to all the shit I talked about if I can find it. Yeah. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, all that shit. Uh, don't be an asshole to people, especially not on the internet. All right. Peace out.